Hey, it's Tony Talking Car Biz in today's vehicle video. This is a brand new 2022 Toyota Tundra limited edition. This is a double cab edition TRD off road package. Hey, in this video, we're going to go inside and I want to show you all the great features on the 2022 Tundra. Let's get started. Okay, let's uh, get inside and start here on the driver's door. So this is going to be the limited edition trim. And I want to show you some of these uh, great features on the door handle. So this is, of course, all new for 2022. Uh, and it really is squared off a lot compared to the 2021, the door panel. So there's some gunmetal gray trim here. The door handle is now gunmetal gray and gunmetal gray trimmed going down around here. And they're using a lot of gloss black trim on the inside as well for 2022. Now, we do have one touch up and down on all four windows. That's new for 22. Power door locks, power mirrors. And then the outside mirrors have the power retractor feature here as well. So using that button right there, you can set those mirrors up to fold in by themselves. Or you can do it manually as well. Limited edition does come with the two-way position on the power memory seat. So just tap a button and the seat will go to the pre-programmed position, depending on what you're looking for there. There's a uh, storage cubby down here, speaker in the door, bottle holders in the doors, and pockets in the doors as well. A little bit of uh, padding on the armrest and the upper part of the armrest here as well. Take a look at the uh, threshold as we go in. Plates in the threshold, but no Tundra badging. That's surprising, they used to have that. Power seats on both sides with recliners, two position lumbar support. And then these are an all new seat. This is going to be a soft tech fabric seat. Has a really interesting pattern in there. These are heated. They're also ventilated. Height adjustable headrest, height adjustable seat belt, standard for 2022. Side impact airbags built right into the uh, seats themselves. This is a black and a kind of a gray leather seat. Four vents across the front here, up, down, left, and right, and some faux carbon finish here as well. Uh, switch for the cargo light in the bed. Auto high beams on and off. Auto engine start and stop on and off. Dimmer switch for your dash lights. Odometer reset. Parking assist manual headlight alignment, heated steering wheel, and your 120 volt on and off. A whole bunch of lights in here for your cargo area in the back when you want to plug in the 120. TRD Off-Road does come with the aluminum brake and accelerator pedal, and there's your dead pedal over there. Your steering wheel does have tilt and telescoping. It's a manual adjustment for both tilt and telescoping. There's a nice passenger assist grip here as well. And there's a look at that uh, factory moonroof, which is standard on the limited edition for 2022. Behind the wheel of the 2022 Tundra, it's an all new uh, steering wheel design. I would expect that they're going to use the same steering wheel in the new Sequoia, which just was announced yesterday. Uh, most Toyotas now have a three-spoke steering wheel, but this is very similar to the predecessor. It's just smaller and has more controls on it and uh, in smaller in diameter. A pretty nice, comfortable steering wheel. So this one does have the heated steering wheel option, which is an extra charge. The switch I mentioned is down here to turn that on. Um, but it is leather wrapped. It's perforated leather on the outer edges and then solid leather up on the top. Now this is a limited uh, TRD off-road, so there's no red stitching like you'd see on a TRD Pro, um, but it is a smaller steering wheel overall. Uh, Toyota badge here. There's an airbag inside here as well. I like the, uh, the brushed aluminum uh, finish or the trim that they have here. And then Toyota is having a big love affair with uh, this gloss black trim, which looks really nice, but I will sh say that it shows the dust uh, more than other finishes. Uh, ton of buttons on the steering wheel. So over on the left-hand side, 
Here's your Bluetooth connectivity for your smartphone. These controls right here now control the information center, which is up in the gauge cluster. That's a 4.2 inch information center. I'll show you that in just a minute here. Uh, but we do also have your sound system controls. Voice activation um, is here. And then over on the right hand side of the steering wheel, um, we've got our, our parking assist, our dynamic radar cruise control. We've got our lane departure. The cruise control settings are here. And then these here are some additional modes for your sound system. So there's quite a bit you can control just right here on the steering wheel. I'll go ahead and start it up. I want to show you the uh, animation when it starts up. Um, but before I do that, I wanted to show you, we do have a push button start. Uh, which is standard on the Limited, but this has the TRD off-road package, so they go with the red switch with the TRD off-road package. Um, and your keyless entry is here. Interesting about the keyless entry fob, there is a button here to be able to open the tailgate with your keyless entry, so kind of like a trunk release for the truck. That's uh, standard on the Limited Edition, which is what this one is. So let's go ahead and just fire it up. You can see on the animation there, it's showing that the tailgate is now open because I pushed that button and I held it in. So let's go ahead and just start this up. That's your animation there. And then over here, our tablet. We'll, we'll come back to the tablet here in just a second, but that's a pretty interesting tablet they've got there so on the right hand side we've got controls for our washer and our wipers and we do have intermittent wipers up front and then over here on the left hand side these are going to be all the controls for your headlights your automatic headlights which turns them on and off automatic and then your fog light controls are right here as well Take a quick look at the gauge cluster. So this is going to be the standard uh, gauge cluster for the Limited, so reads Tundra up here. Tack and temperature on the left, oil pressure up here. I like the overall look of it with the, with the uh, white on black gauge cluster. And then over here there's a voltmeter for your battery, a speedometer, and your fuel gauge. And then here's that multi-information center. And so default, you see the outside temperature, you see a clock, there's no messages, and your gear indicator. And then using the switches here on the steering wheel, we can go ahead and toggle through some of the other items. So there's a digital speedometer, compass, sound settings. These are your trip settings. And then you've got your uh, lane tracing assist, pre-collision, blind spot monitoring, parking assist, rear cross traffic alert. So it allows you to turn these things on and off based on your individual preferences. So that's kind of nice to have that. And then there's a message center that tells you about anything that might be going wrong or any issues with the vehicle itself. So really easy to use. This is the standard non-digital uh, style. Uh, it's definitely very functional and easy to read from the driver's uh, position. Let's go ahead and move over toward the center console and the center stack. So this is a huge 14 inch touchscreen. Um, I'd like to be able to show you all the great features on here. Um, unfortunately it requires you to set up a subscription to show the navigation. So I'm not able to show that. I'll switch over to your sound settings. Of course, we have AM, FM, also Sears satellite radio, and it's very uh, responsive. I mean, it just a tap and everything goes really quickly. Um, of course, Toyota has published a video to their channel giving a full overview. So I'm just not able to do it because I haven't set up an account. I did suggest to Toyota that they set up a demo account for us. It's such an amazing system. Um, it is Sears Satellite Radio. You do get the Platinum subscription. Three months, no extra charge. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Alexa all wirelessly uh, connect con connectable, I should say. 
So moving down the center uh, console, the center stack, we do have our, our radio controls are here. We have our automatic temperature controls for front driver and front passenger. And those can be set up individually. Go ahead and turn that down a little bit. You got the sun coming out from behind the clouds. So I'm just gonna reposition the car here because that sun will be right in my camera in just a second and you're not gonna be able to see it. So I'm just gonna move it around here a little bit. Get that sun off of everything. There we go. Much better. So on the uh, temperature controls, we've got individual temperature controls. I do like these big toggle switches, particularly if you have gloves on, super easy to operate. There's a USB port over here. Heated seat for the front passenger, ventilated seat for the front passenger. You can see there's three different temperature settings or cooling settings, uh, of course, air conditioning. Uh, rear window defrost, which also activates the uh, heating elements on your outside mirrors, so those are heated. Front window defrost, controls for the driver's ventilated seat or the driver's heated seat. And then they've got these huge toggle switches down here. This is a limited, so it has the uh, 360 view. You can see it's a little bit of an animation. Um, you can't stop it or do anything with it, it just kind of goes and gives you a parameter perimeter scan that snow that's on the ground here so if I look outside it's picking up that snow out there and so it's just kind of giving me an overview of the outside so that's kind of nice to see what's around me of course there's nothing around me right now and then there's different angles that I can do so that's actually picking up the snow and look that's the back of the vehicle so pretty cool stuff then we've got our traction control on and off, emergency lights, our uh, transfer case lock and unlock. Down here there's a large storage area um, and this one has the power pack so you do get the wireless charging for your smartphone. You just drop your smartphone in there and away you go. Um, it also includes the lights in the back in the in the uh, cargo lights in the bed if you will and also the 120 volt pl plug back there so it's a pretty good value it's a little under 400 like 385 dollars so that's pretty cool i'm gonna have to reposition this again we've got the sun is messing with me forgive me we'll get it fixed there how's that better i hope um let me go ahead and just sync those up here so as we go down the center here, here's our parking brake hold. We do have the electronic parking brake here as well. I'm going to shift into reverse so you can see the screen. So that's got a, a look at the back of the, here's an overhead view. I can also switch to the front camera. I can switch to the side, side mirrors. I can go straight to the back where I can have a direct view directly behind me. That's kind of an interesting view. So there are a lot of camera angles on here. That's our multi-terrain select, you can see. So stop by the dealership and take a look. There are endless opportunities with this camera system to be able to see the vehicle from all different angles. Um, but I think the backup one is pretty nice. So stop by and, and give it a look, play with it let me know your thoughts so down on our center console this is a limited with the TRD off-road package so there's a leather wrap shifter and then the TRD badging but if it were just a regular limited that red logo wouldn't be there and then more of that gloss black trim here's our two high four high and four low switches and those are just a dial you push down and you select it instead of a knob on there and then here is where we've got our drive modes we can set up different uh, drive modes and you can kind of toggle through those using the switch here uh, the great thing about that is there's also a visual indicator up here on the gauges you can see in the center so sport normal and eco 
right down here. And then we do have a, our tow haul mode is here. Our downhill assist with our crawl, crawl mode is here, which is, this is all new for the Tundra. Um, of course, you probably already know this, but this is from the Tacoma. And then our multi-terrain select. So we can go ahead and we gotta turn that off. Let's turn that off, turn that off. And then we can go into multi-terrain select mode. There's also cup holders right here. And again, this huge storage area there is pretty nice. And then we'll take a quick look at our center console. So the armrest is, is just as big as last year's model, really wide, um, but there's individual armrest on both sides. And then there's kind of these little storage or uh, trays that you can drop stuff. What I don't like about these trays is they're hard plastic. There's no liners in there. I think Toyota should have rubber liners so stuff doesn't rattle around. Um, but there's also a little door here, which allows you to, you know, just a quick access to under the armrest. And then this also opens up like so to reveal a huge storage area down in here. Uh, there's USB ports right here. There's coin holders. There's little storage bins. This can be removed, can be taken out. I discovered this yesterday. This is pretty cool. There's little diagrams on the back there. And, and it reads Toyota so you can see those vehicles just little tips like that um, in this area here I'll take my glove off so I can pull this out there are rubber liners these are all rubber rubber liners in here so stuff doesn't rattle but if you pull them out it's cool they have these little cutouts so that's a, a cutout of a Tundra cutout of that's probably a Sequoia but there's little cutouts in these rubber liners down in here. They do offer um, a uh, console safe, so like a vault safe you can put in here for if you practice concealed carry or what have you. So it's a nice big storage compartment under there. And there's a switch right here and another one over here for the passenger to be able to open that up. Take a look over on the passenger side. Here's a quick look at the passenger seats. Passenger assist grip. There's that faux uh, carbon finish up on the dashboard. Dashboard's padded. Nice glove box. It is a lot, does have a key lock on there. And there's your uh, owner's manuals in there as well. And then of course overhead we do have a power sliding moonroof standard on a limited. We have uh, lighted vanity mirrors on our visors. These are huge visors. They do slide in and out like so. And then as far as the overhead console goes, uh, light switches, map lights, these are LED lights. This switch right here actually opens the rear window. So this has the power sliding rear window. That's what that switch does. And then we also have Toyota Safety Connect and a place to put your sunglasses up here. We have an automatic dimming mirror. It's really like a very slim bezel on there. That's cool. It automatically dims on and off. And then underneath here are the uh, home link so you can set up three different devices. Garage door openers and lighting systems and what have you. So that's the driver's compartment on this Limited. Let's uh, go ahead and jump in the back seat and check that out. Before we jump in the back seat, I did want to show you the door feature. So this is a double cab edition, so the doors are a little bit smaller in the back. Uh, but we have the same gunmetal grape uh, trim pieces on here we saw before. One touch up and down on the uh, windows. Uh, there's no bottle holders on these doors, but there is a speaker down here in the bottom of the door. And then, of course, they are they do have privacy glass. Show you the back seat here real quick. So I've got that seat all the way back to show you how much legroom there is or is not. And then this seat is kind of in a normal uh, driving position for an average person. Um, the seats on here do fold up like so and they're split so they have that 60 40 uh, split to them and then there's some nice storage underneath here and they have dividers 
so you can divide up the section and there's a first aid kit under that one so you can bring the whole seat up um, it is a deeper well these seats are not locking so if you put your valuables under there they're not necessarily secure um, but they do fold up easily one hand and then same as we saw up front but these are not heated and they're not ventilated soft tech um, seats and then we have the three seat belts back here three headrest we've got uh, laundry hooks and we've got overhead LED map lights as well let me go ahead and uh, jump up in there and we'll take a look at some of the features there is a nice passenger assist grip and this does have a pretty significant lift up into here So here's a uh, quick look at the driver compartment from the back seat. Really good visibility. These seats do sit up a little bit higher, so uh, kind of like theater or stadium uh, style seating. There's your moon roof. Now there are some cup holders right here in the console, which makes sense. They're up a little bit higher than they were before instead of being on the floor. There's a storage cubby here, and that's rubber lined. And then way down there are USB ports. And there's also a 120 volt, 400 watt port down there as well. And those are all turned on by the switch up in the dashboard. There's pockets on the seats, both back seats. And like I said, this one with the seat in a normal driving position has that much leg room. That seat all the way back. I don't think you could get anybody behind that seat. But again, this is your double cab, so they do make a crew max if you need that extra passenger room regularly. Um, I'm just going to bring this armrest out because within the armrest, there are cup holders here as well. So that's pretty nice. I think it's pretty comfortable back here for, you know, an average to below average size person. If I were a full grown man which I'm not. I am a man, but I'm not full grown. Um, I don't think I'd want to ride back here too far, but it is pretty comfortable and the visibility for me out the front is nice. So that's the uh, interior overview on this 2022 Toyota Tundra limited edition double cab TRD off-road. This one does have the all-weather floor mats for 169 bucks. Those are awesome. I strongly recommend getting those right from the factory. They're like a weather tech style and the quality is excellent. Hey, if you like this video, if you got value, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you want more like it, make sure you subscribe to the channel. I wanna make sure I'm giving you good value for your time. This is the uh, 2022 Toyota Tundra Limited Double Cab and Tony Talking Car Biz. Thanks for watching.